Hey guys, so made a Bitcoin analysis video last time, low time frame. Let's do the same for ETH. Um, I think it's actually ready to wake up and go. So, you know, without having any bias, I'm going to give you guys both the low time frame uh, setups. However, I am not taking these as I won't be able to as I'm traveling tomorrow afternoon uh, and I'll be gone for a month. But these will be your potential setups. Take profit as soon as you guys see fit or whenever you guys are happy with. All right. <clears throat> so let's do some trickle down here. Okay. Let's just plot out the, the lows here. And let's plot out the range high. Okay, so here is your, your range, okay? Now, we are seeing that this is putting in <clears throat> um, lower highs and lower lows, right? So th the trend is clearly still down, all right? Uh, even if you take a look at it here, lower highs, lower lows, all right? Now, ETH is getting to a very interesting point here. Before I do that, let's also put in the mid-range point. Okay, and that's going to be here. Okay, let's fix my OCD a little bit, get these even. All right, <clears throat> so you have your supply zone. And let's go to a lower time frame. You can actually go ahead and draw your downtrend line as well. Now, lower time frame, let's go to an eight hour. You have <clears throat> okay. So here is a valid trend line, right? We have three touches. Fourth touch just rejected about you know uh, about yesterday, and then you have another trend line where you can draw where you have this breakout. I'm going to make that blue. Both of these are valid. What just happened? Okay. So <clears throat> one trend line, here's another one. Now this blue trend line, we had a breakout, a retest, close above and this I mean if you, if you had longed this would have been your setup right I always talk about the long and breakout retest breakout retest hold and there was your long and your technical targets of this trend line are going to be around 2580 ish which would put you at this resistance here Okay, now that is the technical target of there. Now let's take a look at where we currently are. Okay, we're getting ready for a possible breakout on ETH. Now, obviously this has been weaker in comparison to Bitcoin and other coins, and it looks like it wants to break out here. Um, <clears throat> but first, it's going to have trouble unless it just breaks through with, you know, force it's going to have trouble in this little resistance area, okay? So that's gonna be your, your first area of rejection. But if this is able to flip 2450-ish, 2550, or sorry, 2450 to 2500, you are seeing this range high get tested. Now, when you are in a range, you play the highs, the lows, and then the mid range from the highs or the lows. You never play it while we're here. So. This would be your setups for ETH if you're playing a range. Okay, so we have range highs. You'd short range highs. <clears throat> Tight stop on this one. Okay, so short range highs with clear resistance here. Now this is actually your whole resistance area. Okay. I wouldn't go, I mean, if you have the risk appetite for that, sure, you can go ahead and do it. Entry there, DCA up in this resistance zone, you know, back to range lows. But <clears throat> tight risk tolerance would be there. 
okay? Now you may want to, and this is only for the experienced traders, but you may want to have a, um, a soft stop loss. Why? Because you have the highs here, okay? So this could easily go, take out the highs, come back within the range, put an SFP, and then go back down. All right, that's what I would personally do. So I wouldn't go into this position with such a high, um, you know, margin size or uh, quantity for ETH. Um, what you can do is you can enter in small. If we close above here and then we start consolidating under resistance, you can short, or sorry, you can close your position. Or if you want to add more to your size, you wait for the sweep. You wait for the liquidity sweep of these highs, flow back below, then you can add more, and then you place your stop loss below, uh, above whatever stop, uh, or uh, sorry, above whatever wick that was just created on that liquidity sweep. All right. So that is one potential option, and this would be a swing play back to mid range and then range lows. Your obvious other one is if the sweep of these range lows happen. Okay. So. <clears throat> I wouldn't say long here because there's no established support. If I were to, you know, pull this line all the way back, let's change that to black. So we do see we have support here, but the problem with longing here blindly without confirmation or setting limit bids is this can go much lower. And I cover this in my video that explains the long-term analysis of Bitcoin and ETH. But if we're just playing the range here, you want to see a sweep of these lows. So price come back down here, take out the lows, put in a swing failure. You mark it long with stops below whatever wick that was created. Give yourself some breathing room. Now let's say that wick comes down to here for say. Okay, this would be your other swing long. Long, your, your main TPs would come at uh, mid-range and then range highs. Okay, so that would be the swing long option. Now, <clears throat> your confirmation on mid-range, okay? So, if we were at range low, so if we were at range highs, you would long mid-range back to range highs. Um, if you were at range lows, you'd short range highs. So, if we were down here, which this would be a risky play to take, okay? So, this would be the setup, okay? You have... Let me see, any fibs here? Okay. I'd probably just go to a lower time frame. Okay, we see that we have resistance. So I'd probably start shorts at the golden pocket. So uh, front run it a little bit. Let's start at like 25, 40 ish. Stops maybe around 26, 20. And then you play that back to range lows. The reason for this trade is we have the golden pocket taken from the highs to the lows. Okay, you also have resistance and a liquidity pocket. Um, so even if price were to go back up to here, right, reject, come back up, you can possibly put in an inverse head and shoulders, and then the target for that would be back to range highs. Okay, so that would be uh, a potential short setup there. Um, now, the the, the reason why I don't want to mark it long here is because we have a potential bear flag, okay? Now, I know I'm drawing a whole bunch of lines within this area, but we do have a potential bear flag, okay? It's invalidated once this level is broken up, which would also be in uh, confluence with this downtrend. So break up, retest, invalidate the bear flag, okay? And then continue to go higher. So... If you guys are looking for longs, and I don't, I mean, if, if we are blessed with another gift um, of a dip further down, and to be honest, I think that um, that 49K bottom that we put in a couple of weeks back is the true bottom until that 50 to 50K level is lost, 50 to 53K level. So maybe longs in this area from 2300 uh, down to 2280. Right, stops like somewhere below 2K. So if we get this dip, that's where I would go long. Otherwise, I think, you know, any low, if, if you are going to open up positions here, um, you can definitely do so. 
okay? But it's going to be risky. So maybe low time frame, you start around I don't like the, the risk or reward here. Very, very tight. So around 335, 336, you open up a long stops below 2300. This, you know, if you were to get stopped, we would go into our, our other long position. But you could play a scalp. Like this would be another trend line touch, right? Um, and if I were to draw fibs from, let's say, here to the current highs, okay, it, it, if I, if, you know, it's perfectly in line with the, the reversal fibs. So that would be your scalp play. Um, basically 2336 to 2335 um, stops below the previous low, and, or not, not the previous low, but this wick here. Uh, give yourself, you know, a nice, very tight risk tolerance, and you're going to target back into that supply zone. So this would be your low time frame setup. This would be a, a low time frame or like a four hour uh, scalp short. If we get a dip into here on the four hour, this would be a swing play. Okay, you can swing that all the way back to the range highs. You short the range highs back to mid range, range lows. Now, obviously, targets does not mean it's going to hit. You're going to take profits whenever you are happy or at levels of support. I'm not going to handhold positions. And you have your long at range lows if you know we have a sweep of these lows here. Okay, now what if? This low, this long doesn't happen. What if this long doesn't happen, or that like that low time frame doesn't happen? Then you are looking for. I'm going to remove these lines really quickly. You are looking for a breakout and retest of this downtrend line, and then that is where you're going to long with your stops below here. Target you know around 25, 50, 2600. All right, just like we had a breakout of this blue trend line, right? We had, there's the breakout, there's the retest. You're looking for the same exact setup from this downtrend, this black one, breakout, retest, long, stops there, target 25, 50, 2600, okay? So those are your uh, ETH potential setups. Obviously there's confirmation. Um, you know, you can watch this this video over and over again to, to, to make sure um, you have your limits set. I won't be here to alert these in the Discord or on Twitter. Um, this is my Bon Voyage message. So <clears throat> please take, you know, these trades um, to your own liking. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. Signing out for the rest of the month. See you guys.